Hello, everyone, and happy Wednesday. I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. Wanted to give you this webcast extra and let you know about the potential for severe weather, which is including the entire viewing area on Thursday. And I'll give you all the information on why we are expecting this severe weather threat. So here it is with your webcast extra. First of all, we're going to start off with the four W's. What do you need to know? Well, the main threats of these storms, because of the tremendous amounts of moisture in the atmosphere, we're going to have flash flooding potential as as they've already seen a lot of flash flooding in central Missouri earlier today. Damaging winds and large hail also a possibility and an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Again this is all Thursday afternoon but we do have a complex of storms that will develop in southwest Missouri overnight tonight make its way clipping portions of northwest Arkansas. Storms again develop Thursday afternoon and then another round possibly on Friday and even into your 4th of July holiday weekend. So where will it hit tonight? That's going to be mainly southwest Missouri into northwest Arkansas. Storms will develop along a cold front that will park itself across the area, especially on Thursday. That's why we have that severe weather area uh, wide on Thursday, severe weather threat. Persistent northwest, northwest flow weather pattern is why this will occur. A cold front lingers over northwest Arkansas, and as you'll see, we have lots of available moisture. Temperatures right now, it's warm. It's in the upper 80s to lower 90s, even some mid-90s topping off in Grove and Poto at 92 degrees. But you factor in that humidity, which is rather high, which is typical this time of the year, you have heat in the seas well in the mid to even upper 90s, close to 100 in Clarksville and exceeding 100 in Grove. So there it is, dew points in the upper 60s to lower and middle 70s. There's plenty of moisture for those thunderstorms to get going. And as you'll see here with our future track showing the dew point trend over the next 72 hours, the next three days, we aren't going to see any uh, lack of uh, instability or a lack of moisture come from the Gulf of Mexico. It is going to remain rather moist and humid over the next several days, and that's going to lead to the potential for thunderstorms, including that heavy rain threat as well with any of these storms. There's the flash flood warnings that continue in south-central Missouri. Look at that big complex of storms developing, dumping about four inches of rain in a short amount of time. So these storms produced heavy rain. Now we have some rain that's trying to make its way into northwest Arkansas, as you can see. This will happen later on this evening and into the night. Some of the storms could be strong to severe, but that looks to mainly remain uh, to our north in south central Missouri. So here's this stationary front. What's going to happen over time is this front's going to slowly sag southward and on Thursday it's going to be pushing into northwest Arkansas. And what's the reason for this pers persistent uh, northwest flow weather pattern? Well, one of the low pressure systems that moved through missed us to the northeast, as you saw, all the storms remaining in south central Missouri. There's that little wave of energy that you can see on water vapor. Our next big weather system is just now taking shape north of Billings, Montana. That will be diving southeastward, all in that jet stream northwesterly flow. So that's going to take that low and push it down to the southeast. And with northwest flow, you get pop up developing storms. Now, as far as that severe weather threat tonight, looks to remain just to the northeast of northwest Arkansas. We're under that marginal severe weather threat, but then on Thursday for tomorrow, we are expecting an area-wide severe weather threat, including the potential for damaging winds, large hail, and an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out. Just to show you the future track, it's picking up on the storms that developed in eastern Newton County. Uh, the time of this recording, by the way, is a little after 3 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. As you'll see here, the future track overnight tonight pops up some storms in southeast Kansas. Those will make their way into northwest Arkansas overnight tonight and into early Thursday morning, clipping eastern sections of northwest Arkansas. But the main complex should remain in south central Missouri. Now, as you'll see here, the future track shows that cold front slicing through northwest Arkansas, as you'll see here, uh, remains right parked across northwest Arkansas in the River Valley, and this is going to be the focusing mechanism for those thunderstorms along with that big low pressure system moving in. So there's the thunderstorm activity. I think the future track is underdoing that amount of precipitation a little bit. Then on Friday, another complex of storms moves through with the potential for some heavy rain. So kind of to sum it all up, we've got a northwest flow weather pattern. We have a jet stream that's diving northwest to southeast over our area. There will be plenty of uh, wind shear. 
uh, plenty of strong winds, lots of instability, and a focusing mechanism for all of these thunderstorms to develop. So expect some severe weather during your Thursday afternoon. As always, we'll keep you up to date with the latest, so keep it here with your weather authority for the latest weather information.